Hi, this video is about the Expedia ChatGPT plugin. Um, ChatGPT has listed it as one of their most popular plugins. And so I thought um, it'd be useful to go in and just shoot a video about, let's really dig into it and see, give it a situation and see how it does and see how useful it is. So first I started by asking it what it could do. And I, and I went ahead and um, did all the questioning before I shot the video so that we can go through it quicker, quicker because um, uh, the, we can use GPT-4 now with the plugins, which is great. Uh, it gives better responses, but it makes it a little bit slower. So what can it do? Basically lodging, flight, activity, and car rental. So we're gonna judge all four of these and see how good of a job it's doing. And actually I have a situation where I thought, oh, actually a real situation where I wanted to use it. Um, here was my first prompt. Um, and then it started giving me Spirit Airlines. And I don't know if you, you've ever, if you've never flown Spirit before, well, count yourself lucky. It's the worst. Um, and so I went ahead and edited it, and now we have a different chain where um, no Spirit Airlines, and it gave me pushback, and I'll give you an answer on that in a second. But basically, um, I got a business trip. I'm speaking at a, a conference in, um, uh, in Schmom, Schomburg, Illinois, which is right near Chicago. Um, I already booked a hotel, um, or at least actually the, um, the event organizer booked a hotel for me, so that's nice. But I haven't booked my flight, and I, I wanted to plan a few personal outings, and then I realized that there's a number three, um, which is I did want to actually, um, I realized as I was typing this, I, I'm considering renting a car. So I gave it, um, you know, I, I gave it the, uh, I guess I didn't, I didn't give the return date, so maybe I screwed up there. Should have asked for that? But that was actually kind of uh, bad on my part. Uh, we could still judge the response, and I'll tell you, you'll see why in a second, um, even though I could have put in uh, a little bit more detail. Additionally, I have, like, I've never actually been to the Great Lakes, uh, and so, you know, I plan on, you know, going and at least dipping my toes in there once, kind of a little bit of a bucket list thing, uh, but also I'm a, I'm a nature lover, um, like, I, I love big trees and, and really different forests and hiking and stuff. And so while I'm there, I'm going to try to see if I could do one of those things. And I wanted to see, you know, it offered activity recommendations, how good it, at that is it. And then I did want to see, okay, well, I'm considering renting a car. Let's see what it, um, what it can do for us. So um, Origin Dallas, O'Hare Airport, we can look a little bit. I'm not going to go into all this code, all this uh, schema or a JSON LD. Um, but it, so it looks like airline name specifically trying to find airline name. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe it's because they're the cheapest. Maybe it's because Expedia really likes uh, likes it. Uh, but I had some flight for it seems that all the non-stop flights from Dallas or Air Hair, um, are, are, are operated, that are available are operated June 22nd. I didn't believe them. Um, and it turns out they were incorrect because I, you know, I went and booked a flight on that day um, with American Airlines. So, um, you know, this is, you know, bad. It's a strike against them for them to say it's it's wrong. And I, I you know, actually, there's something I should test. I'm actually gonna go to Expedia real quick and I'm gonna do a search for this and see if I can find something. Okay, so there's something wrong with their plugin for sure because even on their own website, they do have nonstop that is not Spirit, American Airlines that fits the bill for me. So um, definitely not, you know, number one, didn't do it, didn't do it very well. Now, if I wanted to, you know, let's assume that it did pull the correct flights. Let's see what happens when I click this, see if it gets it right. So it doesn't have the date right, which is interesting. Uh, maybe that's part of the issue. Let's see, does it identify the dates? Let's see if we can get, because I did give it the date. I did say June 22nd. See if it gets the right date. Departure date. Uh, so it, it didn't get the the date right. That might be this the the, the whole source of the issue. Um, so interesting. Uh, I understand these might not be ideal for you. If you'd like to see something different, yeah, I'd like to see the the, the correct date. Um, let's move on to finding some specific activities. Destination. Uh, it also didn't do Chicago and kind of the surrounding area. And it, it didn't um, it didn't really address what I was trying to go for. I'm not really trying to go to Legoland. I don't have my kids with me. I'm not trying to do a paint and sip. I'm not trying to do indoor skydiving. Um, not that those are bad activities. It's just not the type of activity I mentioned. I mentioned two nature 
activities and it gave me two three not completely non-nature activities so i'd say it fails this and i'd say this would this would if i was expedia this would be a bigger concern because i suspect with this there's probably just a little tweak that they can make like oh it picked up the wrong date oh, okay fix like that can fix that i don't know how they fix this this seems like a much more difficult thing to to do in the first place okay uh car rentals uh clicking through to these it uh let's see if i could put it no, up there we'll get to that in a second it, it kept saying sorry the car you no select you, you select is no longer available so in in multiple ones of these so this didn't really work it didn't get the the dates right so you know I, i'm arriving on the 22nd i'm leaving on the 25th it's i tried it again i just did that just just recently and it still didn't do it right let's see what it says on this front actually actually we go to this first let's check this one out real quick uh, manager special pick up location o'hare it's interesting that it doesn't put more information in here does it have the date it's doing the 18th so if i click to this it's doing the 15th to the 18th which is strange i never i not once did i mention the the, the 15th so it's interesting so it's giving me incorrect um, information uh, and it's with every single time it's the the click through isn't isn't working it's not it's it's not working on there and like they're not passing the right information or they're not giving me cars that actually i could use uh, similar issues here oh it actually it has the correct dates here um, i bet if i were to be very very clear about the dates up front m maybe it would be do a better job and actually i'm gonna rerun that real quick Okay, so I put in, I would like to see nonstop flights from Dallas O'Hare departing. I do not want to fly Spirit Airlines. Maybe this is not a good idea. Um, I feel like telling it what you don't want. Yeah, AI models are actually not, right now, I don't think they can do that to some degree, to a significant degree, if at all. Um, in fact, by naming it, I might actually increase the chances. Um, let's see, airline name. Just by the fact that I named it, I wonder if that, if that, increase the chances of that happening. So what we're gonna do is we're also going to see what happens if I put this in. Oh, it's, it's still generating a response from before. Okay, we'll come back to that. There's another response that I wanted to do. Um, let's see. <laughs> see, that's just not true. So we know that's not true. Let's see if it got the correct date. It did. No, it's still weird. There's some sort of error right now they're having with the dates because sometimes it seems to get it right and sometimes it didn't. I was very clear and I didn't put a lot of extraneous information. Sometimes if you bury the date in a bunch of different other stuff, it can get kind of distracted. Um, yeah, uh, so let's go back to another thing that I did, which was uh, the hotel. So I thought, okay, well, let's try actually doing the hotel. Uh, even though I don't need it, just as an example, I'm considering some, staying somewhere with a great view of the Great Lakes in a nice part of town of Chicago for the night of June 22nd. Can you find a place like this? Didn't My question could have been better, um, but I, I kind of was curious to see what it would find, and it came up with several. This one is, I think it does have a view of the, of the Great Lakes, so it, maybe it got on point, and it does look like it's near downtown Chicago. This one is definitely near downtown Chicago, and it does look like in this picture, you can see the Great Lake, not quite on there. Um, this one is, well, completely wrong. Um, it's not in Chicago. It doesn't have a view of the Great Lake. So it definitely got this one wrong. So I did it, that's why I did, you can see below, I did a second one for this to see if I could be more, I wanted it on, and I named, instead of Great Lake, I said Lake Michigan. Again, more clarity, hopefully that would be helpful. Um, yeah, this is this is concerning that you know because to be the main the first thing I would use this for would be flights, and if it's just giving bad information, that's not good. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's let's go ahead and let this generate while we do that. Here's some hotels you might enjoy. Let's just click through these, even though I think one of them is a repeat. It did, did it do the same? The same three? It did the exact same three. 
even though I said right on Lake Michigan in a nice part of downtown Chicago. Okay, so it's not doing a good job of this. This is, to me, very poor. Um, and when we review the full four things that it's done, um, I don't know if we really even do this because it did, it did such a bad job uh, up above there. Um, I'd be, I'm kind of curious to see if it does some non... We'll come back to this in a second, but let's look at these. The lodging, um, it did a, I think it did a really poor job of it. it. It's not useful. It didn't, you know, in theory, I should be able to tell it kind of like, oh, this is the kind of place I want to stay. This is about where I want to go. And there's some ambiguity in there, but it kind of gets the, the main points, which is downtown Chicago on the great, on great Lake Michigan. And it did not get those. In fact, it gave me the same three with two different prompts, which is kind of concerning. The flights failed miserably. It told me there were only spirit fl flights available, which, God forbid, that would be awful. Uh, which was not correct, as I proved with uh, just going straight to Expedia. Activity recommendation. It got this completely wrong. Um, I had specific activities in mind, and it just gave me something random. Um, basically, very broad recommendations not based upon anything that I gave it, which is very easy to get elsewhere, and so this failed miserably. The car rental also failed uh, because it gave me cars that I couldn't actually book, all six of them that I did. Um, additionally, in several places, it did not seem to get the date correctly. For some reason, it just picked a, what felt like a random date and, that I had never mentioned. Um, and so lots of work for, for them, for Expedia to do uh, to get these things right. And um, yeah, let's let's check up on this last one. See if it maybe can redeem itself by a non-spirit. <laughs> okay, so it just did spirit. Let's see if it named spirit. Maybe it's just because that's what's returning. So perhaps their algorithm is not right, or perhaps they're just prioritizing spirit because spirit looks a lot better on the surface because it's of its super low price. But uh, hopefully you found this video to be helpful. I think this is enough to, to demonstrate where it's at right now and what it's like to use use the Expedia ChatGPT plugin. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more awesome videos like it. Hope you have a great day. Bye.